Today, Cook Yourself Thin Chef Gizzy Erskine tackles fatty feta filo rolls, a deep fried breakfast of badness, and fried fish and chips. You really can fight the flab. Just learn to cook clever and you can stay slim forever. Get set to cook yourself thin. of dieters engaged in a constant battle against the bulge. And the bad news is, we're losing it. Diets don't work. Instead, millions of us yo-yo our way to misery and disappointment every year. I'll maybe lose kind of the stone, half stone, and then it creeps back on again. There's been a time where I was obviously fat, and there was a time when I was slim, then I was fat again and slim. It's everywhere you go, there's fat trying to tempt you, calling at you. But now there's a way to have your cake and eat it too. Cook Yourself Thin is the delicious, healthy way to lose weight permanently, just by cooking clever. <music> Chef Gizzy Erskine firmly believes in having it all with not a faddy diet in sight. She knows the way for you to eat what you want, but with a healthy twist. I really do know how easy it is to watch the weight creep on and on and on. Well, now there's a delicious, tasty, hassle-free way to still eat the foods that you love and watch the weight creep off forever. Meet 40-year-old security officer Ganey, who lives in North London with his wife and teenage children, who call him Chubby and Telly Tubby. Every time I go to the sales, I can never find anything that fits me. I can only get extra, extra large. Weighing in at a uh, cuddly 15 stone, Ganey is desperate to lose some weight before his cousin's wedding in a few months' time. I don't like my belly, and it's the, the problem is it's, it's the man boobs. You know, I don't think it's right, it looks horrible. Although Ganey wants to shed the pounds, he just can't give up his fryer. Whatever I eat is all fried. Without frying it, I don't think there'll be any taste. If you grill it, I don't think, you know, you might as well not eat it. I just find there's no taste, like grass. Being of Turkish Cypriot origin, there is nothing Ganey loves more than a traditional Turkish fried breakfast. The name of it is pasturma, spicy sausage. Obviously, I'll fry it with eggs, and then next to that, I'll have fried um, halloumi cheese, and I do love my breakfast. One of Ghanai's other downfall dishes are his feta filo rolls. It's kind of like a feta cheese wrapped in a filo pastry, and then you have to fry it. You can only fry it, you can't grill it, you can't bake it, you can't do anything. It's fried only. Yes, we're getting that, Ghanai. What's the final downfall dish, then? I love fish and chips. I just love the crispy batter. But fish and chips, obviously, you know, is my favourite meal. I love fish and chips because it's fried as well and you just get that better taste. I, I, I love fish and chips. And as if the fried fish and chips, the fried feta rolls and the fried breakfast weren't enough... When I finally get to have a dinner, I kind of eat it really quick as well. I'm impatient with it. And I have seconds as well. I won't just have one bowl of soup. I, I'll go through two bowls, sometimes three. Two plates of dinners. Because I eat one and I'm like, mm, I could have a bit more, I'll have another one, what the hell? Let's face it, Ganey's diet is enough to make a heart surgeon shudder. Gizzy is going to have her work cut out. I love fried food as much as the next person. I love crisps, I love chips, I love fried chicken. But I believe that there's a way that you can get all of that flavour and the crispness, but without the fat. So, good night. Thanks for having me. That's OK. Welcome you into your home. Welcome. Because what I want to do is create some dishes for, for you that are going to give you the ultimate satisfaction. You're going to be really not feeling like you're losing anything from them. OK. Yet, you are going to be gaining so much and not weight. <laughs> so, that sounds good. <laughs> first of all, I'd really like to have a little bit of a rummage around yeah, your cupboards. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Come on. Help yourself. So, what are we going to help? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell me what you get through a day. Uh, Four, five crisps, a couple of chocolates. Four or five it? bags of crisps. Yeah, about f a, well, a day. Two for breakfast, and I might have two later on. Gizzy's lost for words, and it's only the first cupboard. 
There's also donuts, pastries, custard tarts, and a whole lot of oil. Wow. Good eye. <laughs> really, this is what you end up cooking yeah. everything in, isn't yeah. it? And there it is, the love of his life. This is my baby. But all this baby is doing is helping Ganae pile on the pounds. <laughs> it's over to the fridge to sample some of Ganae's baby's best work. Right, what do we have here? Wow. The feta filo rolls. I've got to have one of these, right? <laughs> After frying, each filo roll contains three and a half grams of fat. And with Ganae eating ten at a time, that's 35 grams, over a third of his daily allowance in just one snack. I don't know how you get, could get through ten of them. After one of these, it would be kind of enough. Gizzy is going to have to pull something pretty special from her bag of ingredients for Ganae to give these up. Coming from where you come from, eating the sort of foods you like, yeah. you're, you must be into big flavours. Okay, I you... am, yeah. So, to tackle Ganae's fried food fixation head on, Gizzy's using uh, an aubergine. Yeah. I'm going to be making you a dip that you can take with you to work and you can snack on with a couple of bit of bread a day. As Gizzy slices up the aubergine, Ganae's not looking convinced. Normally, these would be saturated with oil in order to get them cooked. But instead, I've got one of these amazing things. It's an oil pump. With the oil pump, Gizzy uses around half a teaspoon of oil compared to the litres in Ganae's deep fat fryer. Ganae still looks doubtful. Sprinkle it with some salt. More oil and salt on the other side. After three or four minutes, simply turn them over. So that is going to be full of flavour. It looks nice. So if anyone tells you you've got to cook aubergine in a tonne of oil, you can tell them they don't from me. I will, yeah. We're going to chop these up, and I'm going to chop them up by hand to begin with, and then we're going to mush them with a fork. Right. Roast a whole garlic bulb in the oven for 30 minutes. Chop the top off and squeeze. You can see that that sort of all comes out and is looking really delicious. With both garlic and aubergine staple ingredients of a Mediterranean diet, Gizzy's thinking clever. The thing about roasting garlic mm. is it actually makes it a little bit milder. It becomes really sweet. That's really nice, yeah. And then literally it's just a matter of just chopping at it. That's looking really nice. It smells good as well, right? But can you smell that smokiness? Yeah, yeah. And into this now I'm going to put my salt and pepper. To this, we're going to put some really delicious, creamy Greek yoghurt. The difference is this one has 0% fat. Give that a mix. Add some lemon juice and fresh mint. If that doesn't excite you... Mm, it's... Might as well suck this. Oh, we might be on to a winner. We'll just give that all a final mix-up. I'm going to pour this into here. Two pieces of bread. Toast the pita bread on the griddle pan, then cut into strips and serve up. That's got to be a bit more exciting. And there it is. Gizzy smoky aubergine dip with oven roasted garlic, fresh mint and indulgent creamy Greek yoghurt. You can get all the recipes from Cook Yourself Thin at channel4.com forward slash food. So, should we dig in? Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Obviously, I like aubergine, but I've never had it this sort of way. This is really tasty, you know. Excellent. It's nice. I'll try a bit more. In a Mediterranean masterstroke, Gizzy's dip has triumphed. Gounet's fried filo feta rolls were coming in at a colossal calorie count of 832, compared to just 248 in Gizzy's appetising aubergine alternative. always been the size he is now. In my in late 20s, I was kind of getting a bit fat. I realised this has to stop, because if I don't stop, I'm just going to get wider and bigger. I dropped down from 15 to 12 stones, and I was really happy. Towards the age of, say, about uh, 33, it all, all just completely went wrong. By the age of uh, 35, 36, I'd say I was just completely fat. 
Despite consuming over 4,000 calories a day, that's nearly twice as much as he should be, Gune does absolutely no exercise at all. I couldn't even do two press-ups. It's, it's embarrassing, really. Wow. And, I mean, if I went to the gym, and they'll probably put a laugh at me. His son, Ake, has tried to help. Like, it's three more, three more. I made him come to my gym, but I think he spent more time looking at the girls, really, than working out. I went there for the day, and I just thought, oh, no, I can't do this, and I just kept walking around. But the good news is, Guinea doesn't have to go to the gym. He doesn't need to spend the money or be embarrassed. If Guinea just did 10 minutes of sit-ups and press-ups in between watching his favourite TV shows every day, he'd soon find that a little effort goes a long way when it comes to exercise. Oh, come on now, come okay. on. Sit-ups are good for toning up the tummy and losing the love handles. Two, three. Come on, Dad, remember when you was my age? Yeah, well, that was when I was your age. <laughs> Press-ups might be hard work, but they burn off calories and will help Gane with his core strength and arm muscles. Uh, it was only about 23 that? years ago, come on. In just 10 minutes, he could burn off 50 calories. If he kept it up for a year, he could burn off half a stone and tone up without going anywhere near a gym. <sighs> After the break, Guinea is shocked by the fat facts of his breakfast. Wow. Oh. OK. That's a lot. But can Gizzy remove the dread from the veg? So for me, already, this is looking way more exciting than your average fish and chips. No, not really. 